Hello friends, Sebastian here from the Guitar Elite team. Uh, today's lesson is about a really important matter uh, for all guitar players and it has to do with the electric guitar sound and this text side. We're gonna take a quick but productive view to all the aspects that are uh, really important here like amps, uh, different guitar plugins, DEW software, audio interfaces, uh, loop effects and all that kind of stuff that gonna help you to build your own tone. Okay, no more words and let's start. Okay, first of all, let's talk about uh, the, equi the equipment required uh, for connect and record guitar to your laptop or your PC. Uh, first of all, it's uh, we're gonna we're gonna need an electric guitar, of course, um, cables. Uh, an audio interface, um, that is an important tool because it's gonna be the bridge between your guitar and your laptop or PC. Basically, an audio interface um, works like a, a translator for your laptop, uh, transforming the analog signal to a, to, on a digi to a digital signal. For my case, I'm using a M Audio Fast Track, uh, M Audio Fast Track Pro actually. Uh, that is a great audio interface. Pretty basic, but um, really useful. Okay, now let's talk about uh, monitoring. And for this, you can use headphones or monitors, or both if you want it. And finally, we're gonna need a DEW software um, to record uh, your guitar signal. There are a lot of different DEW softwares on the audio world. Mm, they can manage different uh, features, but let's say that on no matter which DEW of the software uh, do you use, on the basic stuff like um, recording, sends, inserts, uh, boss channels, uh, they work on the same way. Okay. The really the really great thing about plugins is that you can use them for practice in your room and be a great neighbor by don't playing Pantera songs with the gain on the master volume of your amp at maximum. I'm just kidding. Believe me, your neighbor's gonna give you a lot of thanks for that. And another amazing advantage is that you can record your, your own ideas at your home. Uh, not like in the past, um, where you need a lot of money to make a record, a decent record. Um, it is also great that now with this technology you can simulate from the type of amp or preamp uh, the mic positioning and that is really great because you can have the conditions for a great guitar tone and for a great guitar recording just at the distance of a click. Of course that if you just want to practice in your room uh, plugins are a really great option for it. You can find different free plugins on the web, uh, like uh, TC808, that is a tough screamer simulator. Uh, really great, by the way, really great one. Uh, Lupo M Suite, um, Lee Cap, that is an impulse response loader, a free version of Guitar Rig 5 that come, basically comes um, with uh, some reverbs, some delays, curves, effects. It doesn't have the amps and the distortion section pedals that comes with the full version, but if you ask me what, um, what plugins I prefer, I'll tell you that my favorites are the ones that are for free, like Bias FX, uh, Guitar Rig 5 on its full version, uh, Tone Force, that is a plugin developed by Mission Monster, that is a great metal music producer, and Amplitude on, on, this, on, his, on its latest version. They are a really great amp simulators with infinity possibilities of tones and um, preamp combinations. Not all plugins uh, needs a DEW software to use it, but I prefer uh, to do it with a DEW sub program uh, because you can load um, all the different plugins on the same session. And I think that it makes it more easy and um, that you record guitar anytime you need as well. Uh, so let's see how to set up your DW software. First thing to have in mind is, of course, uh, the signal change. 
as you can see on the image you can um, you will connect your guitar to your audio interface and the audio interface to your laptop or your PC uh, some digital pedal boards like the one that I have uh, that it's uh, line 6 POD HD uh, 500X works as an audio interface um, so if you have if you have uh, one of them you can use it uh, as, uh, as your audio interface okay, the most okay. part of the DW plugins um, or software works in the same way on the inserts on the uh, channel sections like I said before so for this case I'm using Studio One that is a very popular um, software the EW software and the first thing I'm going to do is to synchronize our drivers or um, interface drivers with the drivers of the of the program so by clicking here on the studio web menu uh, on the options tab here you can see audio setup and here on audio device I'm going to select fast track pro next thing I'm going to do is by clicking on OK okay now let's create an audio track by right clicking here Add tracks. Let's give it a name. Guitar. Okay. Now let's select the channel that I'm going to use. Uh, okay, input R. Now let's see. That's the the gain knob on your audio interface. See the signal of your of your guitar. If you see. If I open the clicking, so we're going to put it down a little bit. So you see that it's not clipping and, and anywhere. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is by pressing F3, we're going to see the volume knob of the, of the channel, and here on this arrow, the insert section. On the earson section, we're going to click here, and we're going to select Guitar Ring 5. And that's all. You can use it. Uh, it ramps, to reverb. Um, I'm going to select here, Sultans of Pop. And top. One of my favorites. Presets on Guitar Rig. <laughs> That's all. Is it busy, right? We can find two types of amps. A combo that is basically an all-in-one amp, speaker, preamp, channels and loop effects on the same amp, and a stack amp that is basically a head with the preamp channels and loop effects. But with this one we're gonna need a cabinet to make it sound. Usually, we can find that amps have two or three channels, a clean channel, a current channel, and a lead channel. For this particular case, I'm using a Blockstar HD Club 40 with a DD7 volt delay on the loop effects and an Ibanez Tough Screamer in front of the amp. The loop effects on the amp help us to handle the signal, the signal chain of the distortion section of the amp. This by putting the effects like delay, chorus, flanger connected to the loop effects right after the distortion section of the amp. This can help us to get a more clean and understatable sound of the amp when we are using this kind of effects. On the loop effects section we're gonna find two jack inputs, one called synth, that is basically an output of the preamp section of the amp and the other one called return, that is basically the signal that returns to the amp. For this case, I've connected the send of the loop effects to the input of the Boss DD7 and the output of the DD7 I've connected the, to the return section of the loop effects. This is an advice, I have put a tough screamer in front of the amp just to get a more crunchy and punchy sound of the guitar.
An AxeFX is a preamp and digital processor that emulates on a very, very high way a bunch of different vintage and modern amps, as well as modulation effects and stun boxes. It's an all-in-one high quality rig, you can basically do whatever you want to shape your sound. It uses an algorithm that shapes the sound of a very large list of amps and effects. It's a very useful tool for studio recording and live playing on a very high quality. The Kemper Provider Unit is another preamp and digital processor that you can use not just to emulate a large list of amps, cabinets, modulation effects and stand boxes, but to save amps or tones of your own preference by capturing them with a mic. That's why the company called the Kemper Provider, because you can carry the tones of the amps that you like on this unit. Again, a very powerful tool for high quality studio recording and live playing. Okay, I hope that you have found this lesson really, really useful. Uh, don't forget to check our social media and our YouTube channel to be informed about the upcoming videos and lessons. See you later, have fun, and welcome again to Guitar League.